Ilkley. 400 wool manufacturers from 23 countries come to the opening of the International Wool Secretariat's new technical center. A mouthful of a name, but its object is simple. To see that you get better value for your money whether you wear wool or walk on it. The IWS is financed by 200,000 growers in Australia, New Zealand and South Africa. Its chairman, Sir William Gunn, declares the centre open. The centre is equipped with modern research laboratories whose theoretical work can be tested in practice on its own looms and other machines. That's what it's for, to provide a bridge between the pure research of scientists and the textile mill's practical needs. The need for brighter and more colour-fast dyes, for instance, and for new, more efficient ways of applying them. The IWS has developed a full-scale machine to put extra crimp into strong wools for carpets and hand-knitted yarns. Lab work suggests that the kinkier it is, the longer it wears and the better it looks. So the centre makes its own carpets for trying out such theories. This is a loop pile carpeting loom. Testing a fabric sample for breaking strength. If there's one problem everyone who wears wool would like to see licked, it's shrinkage. This enemy is very high up on the centre's list. The IWS believe in guarantees. So in future, when you buy a garment with their standard symbol on it, you can safely wash it by hand and know that it won't react like this. No shrinkage apparently on the train that brings the visitors to and from Ilkley, and no time wasted. Full marks for the models on this fashion parade. Ever tried walking gracefully through a train? A coat dress and pants in white wool ottoman trimmed with white fox from America. The clothes on show are as international as the guests. From Britain, a plaid knickerbocker suit and matching hat. From France, a white gabardine dress trimmed with red braid and red vinyl belt. And a jacket in double-knit jersey trimmed with wool fleece and leather, also from France. You know the slogan, it's quicker by rail. Well, if this sort of show catches on, they'll be able to add, and very much more interesting. But then, who'd bother about the food?